What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. We are traveling again. We grabbed the new truck, grabbed the bass boat, got on the road this morning, headed to famous Lake Gunnersville, Alabama. This lake is known for the big bass population and it is not an exaggeration to say that it is a world-class bass fishing lake. We decided to rent a sweet Airbnb that is literally right on the lake. It's got a private boathouse, that way we can keep the boat ready to fish at all times. Now me and Lake Gunnersville have a little bit of history and it's not all good. The first time I came here was like five years ago with Mikey Balls. He took me out on his boat. We had a great day. We caught tons of fish, but then tragedy struck. Feels like a better one. Oh God. Oh, that's a nice one, dude. Oh God, it's a big bass, dude. Dude, that's a freaking giant, man. Oh my God, where is it? My God. Oh, dude. dude, this is a freaking stud. Oh my God, dude. dude. Oh no! No! Oh my God. That was one of the most heartbreaking fish losses of my life. And it just hurt a little bit more because it was on Lake Gunnersville, such a famous fishery. The second time I was here, I actually got my Blue Betty boat in Gunnersville, Alabama. So I had to drive all the way up here to get it. Myself and AO Fishing took that boat out and tested it in Lake Gunnersville. Got him. Is it a good one? No, hold on. Get that No, I saw him running too. Now it was awesome driving the boat around, but we didn't really have the fishing success that we would have wanted. So it's been a top priority to come back to this lake since then and right those wrongs. So for the next two days, try to pick this lake apart catch some big fish and walk away with a much better taste in our mouth than last time. Guys, I hope you are ready. This is gonna be a good one. Sit back, relax, enjoy this video, smash that thumbs up button and make sure you're subscribed. Let's rewind about five hours ago to the start of this journey. Ooh, we're getting close, man. Yeah, we are. Well, we're not, I mean, we're getting close to the place, but we're here, we're in Guntersville. We just drove over a bridge to the, of the Tennessee River. So, I mean, we're literally, we're 10 minutes, 15 minutes away from the place. It's so scenic, this lake. If you've never been to Gunnersville, highly recommend it, not just for the fishing, but for the scenery. It's, it's an absolutely beautiful lake. It's a huge lake, tons of grass, trees, islands, you know, just crazy. The juices are starting to flow. The big bass juices are starting to flow. All right, guys, pulling in. Place looks freaking sweet. It is on the lake, by God. Dude, this place looks awesome. The location though, man, I mean, on the lake is an understatement. We are home for the next um, a couple days. Got the rig in the yard, I'm really sorry about that. I'll move that soon if you're the owners of this home. You talk about a view, look at that. The lake in the backyard. There's literally a goose right there. Oh shoot, got the sitting area. Whoever's house this actually is, you my friends are balling. Can you beat this? I don't think so. Better watch those geese. I think it's mating season and those things are notoriously aggressive. Guys, the house itself is super awesome. I mean, it's a sick house. Don't really care about where we're staying. I just wanted to come to Lake Gunnersville, obviously, but I wanted to be on the lake. And one of the things that I had to have was a private boathouse and we got it. Got our own little walkway. Oh, shoot. That big old brim right there, my guys. Y'all see that? really big bluegill like on a bit there goes two more like bedding bluegill i bet you there's fish all over this dock i mean you know there are but yeah i really wanted a place to keep the boat that way we could just get here launch the boat and just keep it in the water but you know out of the elements that way anytime we get the fishing bug while we're here we can just zoop, get out there oh oh yeah baby that little boat slip right there is going to have the blue betty's name on it oh there's a tree in here and several birds living here. Oh, there's fish in here too. It's brim in here. God, look underneath that dock. How many monsters do you think lurk under there on a seasonally basis? I have to go ahead and open this bad boy up. Boom, there she is in all of her splendor. Wow, so freaking sick, guys. I am so pumped to be here right now. Hope you guys are too. I just hope the weather holds up. The weather's gonna be a little shaky the next couple days, so, you know, fingers crossed. And once we get in the boat a little bit later this evening, we're gonna explore this entire area right here because I chose this place for a lot of different reasons, but this little fishing area, it's kind of like closed in right here. It's like a little cove off of the main lake. And I really wanna give it a dangle this evening. Let's go check out the old house. All right. 
Not too shabby, right? Not too bad, I like it. Look at the view though, man. I appreciate a house with a good view. This place is gonna serve as a perfect little base camp for our operations over the next couple days. Now, neighbor Daryl's getting here tomorrow evening. He'll be around, he'll be cooking supper and stuff like that. Yak Pack and Trey are gonna be here in the morning. So we got a lot of things on the old itinerary for the next 12 hours. But first things first, we've gotta put the boat in the water and go fishing a little bit before we store it in that nifty little boathouse. Ready to rock. Whoa, a little aggressive there with the back end, Andrew. A little unnecessary there. I mean, he, he dumped her. Oh, he's got my phone, that's not great. So it's officially been over three years since I was on this lake, and that is just crazy. This is such a good lake. It's only like four and a half hours from my house. We gotta start coming to some of these places more often. We're closer than we think we are. I felt good opening her up a little bit. You looking for a ride? Dude, all this out here looks good. Like this is like seven foot tall grass out here. Welcome aboard. Thanks. Now I don't know what to do, Andrew. We got like an hour and a half. I noticed some kind of deep structure on the way in over here. Okay. And now I'm thinking we got a shallow pocket right here that we could probably try top water. We might have time to do both. The water temp is a solid, well, it's 68. So that's that's, oh, that's actually about perfect. Well, here, hang on. We're gonna make a about like a 30 second little send. Right. Well, here's the thing. So we got a deep, deep point right here, right? I mean, we're in like a little pocket back here, big opening. So I wanna hit this point first, all this submerged wood, spinner bait, frog, frog, buzz bait. Yeah, so we were definitely planning on uh, hitting some toppy. Texas rig, Texas rig, Texas rig. So, which is why I definitely want the lizard rig because I'd rig that up specifically. So you want a Texas rig or a spinner bait is what I'd recommend at this point in time. No, it's, it's about to happen. I got a little Texas rig rigged up right here with a slizzard because I just really want to catch some big fish this spring with slizzards, but I haven't had a ton of time. I just haven't used them a ton for some reason, which is stupid because I was the one begging Guggen to make a lizard. This combo is looking wacky. Got the Bass Pro Johnny Morris and then the Guggen Green Reel. This is just a Christmas tree. Do you see the bottom? Just like straight up rocky oh, yeah. shelf i mean this is a spawning area i'm gonna concentrate on this wood though i'm gonna try to just thinking thinking there might be a bed there we don't have the sun anymore so we couldn't really see a bed right now unless we run on top of it oh man either something just ran into my line or something just hit that slizzard because there was a and uh, like a feel, there was a hit. Definitely gonna be picking up the frogs soon though, I can tell you that, just because of the conditions. Ooh, that's a fish. Oh, he dropped it. Yes, sir, sure did. On oh, the slizzard. Oh yeah, sure did have one. Well, you know, I'm just looking at this live scope. I'm like, man, there's a ton of grass. It's like perfect depth right here. But like there's probably beds, you know, off the bank, all on this grass flap. Is that him again? Yep. That's that time. Oh, that's a decent one. Come here, buddy. First Gunnersville bass, baby, on the slizzard. Oh, yeah. This is so freaking cool, man. Oh, look at my dude. Got a mouthful of that toxic waste slizzard, which is a really cool color and a cool name for a color. Hey man, he ain't a lunker, but by God, he ate. And he's a little tank too. He is. He's built for uh, performance, if you know what I mean. Tummy on him. <laughs> First Gunnersville fish, man. Scoop. All right, man, hey, that's one of many right there. That's I'm right. telling you. All right, man, we gotta get you on the board. Come I'll on, try. get a rod in your hand, boy. All right. Woo, that felt good. Heck yeah, dude. Man. Frickin' Gunnersville, Alabama. Yeah, so that fish definitely picked up the slizzard the first time and just moved it. Because I felt that bite that first time, but he didn't have it. That time went right back through that bedding area and he just hammered it that time, or she. 
feels good to get the skunk out of the boat like within the first 10 minutes that's that's a good feeling i'm telling you man i am loving this area how it looks loving it i mean everything to the front of us and to the left of us just is perfect five to six feet grass you're gonna get rocked here shortly did he just follow you up? He sure did. Oh, I heard that, I man. Trying to take it at the boat. Ooh. Hey, that's, that lets you know you're throwing the right lure, man. Right, hey, we're just coming into like the prime golden hour right now anyways. I mean, the sun's barely hitting the set over here. Oh, ooh, maybe. Yep. Another one. That's a little one. It's probably another male. Probably a buck bass, if I had to guess. Probably what a lot of these are going to be until we can work our way through them. Even smaller one that time. They're digging the slizzard, man. They're warm, too. Yeah. It's a good sign. Yeah. Kind of built like the last one. Pretty bass, man. Very pretty. Short and thick. They're pulling like crazy. That one felt kind of decent, too. Man, we're just like cruising like 30 feet off this bank. You know, we were concentrating on the bank because I was thinking they were going to be, you know, maybe shallow. By the way, shout out to Mikey Balls. I texted him, kind of asked him about the lake. He fishes here a lot, and he said they were moving up shallow, so... And there's just like this tall grass out there. It's so good. I'm seeing fish all over live scope. Well, you just got followed up I on did. the spinner bait. So that, that bite's going to turn on as the sun goes down more. But right now, that toxic waste. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show you all. Green pumpkin on one side and then just basically chartreuse. But, I mean, love that. See how like, you can barely see it, but then all of a sudden you get a, get a little flash of that green and you see it really good? GoodGoodSquad.com. Use code LOJO. Save 10%. Dude, there's hitting on the fall too. I'm just like casting near where I think grass is and it's just getting just demolished in there. Well, I think I might start throwing the buzz bait. <laughs> yeah, I gotta do it. I mean, I'll probably switch back and forth from here on out from this to a frog and then possibly even back to the lizard, just depending on, oh, that was gross just depending on how it goes. But I gotta give the old Hummer a chance. Just wanna kinda work around this point and we're gonna hop over there to that side. Yeah, the frog might be a better option. There's so many little tiny little pieces of grass and junk in the water. Makes, yeah. it, makes it hard to come through clean. There we go, now. There we go. Hear that different noise now? It's a lot more subtle. Oh my gosh, that sounds so much better. Now it sounds like a whopper plop. Or... Oh, had one, see that? I did. I hope we got all that on video. The adjustment to the to the buzz baits. I didn't like the sound that it made. And then two casts later getting inhaled. Those chokers are so they're so aggressive. I had Oh! Dude, I got a fish on the other side of the log. He's probably not on anymore. Dude, so I, I cast it over the log. But the lizard, yeah, I'm off. Oh my gosh. The lizard was like hanging over a log. And I'm trying to like pop it off and it got blown up on top water. Man, that's and it, crazy. And that was like a massive explosion too. Yeah, it was. Hey, it's kind of turning on though. That's yeah, two top is. water bites in like 30 seconds. Hey, that's why I call it the golden hour, man. That's right. They are eating this lizard, man. That's exciting. Well, we're off to a pretty decent start. I mean, we only had an hour to fish this evening because we were just running so low on light. And we caught, well, we caught two or three? three. Two in the boat, multiple hits, some topwater explosions there at the end by both of us. So that's very promising. The only issue we're gonna have potentially, like I mentioned earlier, is weather. So tomorrow's gonna be one of those days, like it's overcast, but it might not be rainy. But then again, it might be rainy showers all day. Either way, we're off to a great start. Skunk's gone. 
right out the get. And this little area around where our Airbnb is, is actually pretty nice fishing. We have to make this like a, a thing in the future, dude. That's this fast. is This is about as convenient as humanly possible. Got the boat tied up, plugged in, charging. So now we can enjoy the rest of our evening and we got the boat completely ready for the morning. Guys, I just delivered a text message to a man who knows this lake. One might say he knows this lake better than anybody. Wait for him to text me back. Might get on a phone call here in a little bit, but we're making some plans for tomorrow morning. And I really hope that this man is in the boat with us tomorrow morning or we're in the boat with him or something. Andrew was just watching some of his content and he was wearing the fish out on Lake Gunnersville. Man, I hope this happens. Well, we got a little bit more rain last night. In fact, it was raining all the way up until about 20 minutes ago. But I think this weather is gonna move out of here. I think we're gonna have some fishing opportunities this morning. Don't mind the nose strip. Don't breathe that well at night. Some people call it apnea, where you just stop breathing. I just call it a normal Tuesday night. The private boathouse was just an amenity that we didn't know we needed it, but man, this is just perfect. The boat stayed completely dry overnight, even though the lake got just completely rained in and we were completely dry rigging up this morning as it rained and now it, the rain has left. Let's catch some fish, dude. Well, I know one thing. We should definitely consider heading back to where we were catching those fish yesterday. I mean, all that area was, was a big grassy flat, basically right there along that island. That contour from that shallow to the deep right there is where we were. I think that's exactly where we're gonna go back to. Here we are, back to the scene of the crime. Well, I think I'm gonna be throwing the old chatterbait a little bit this morning. Kind of shocked that Andrew didn't get rocked on the spinnerbait yesterday. Let me drag that lizard through here one more time. He seemed to like that yesterday. They were all about it, in fact. What a frickin' morning view, man. Ospreys and bald eagles just flying overhead. It don't get much better. That is factual. All right, Mr. Buzz, let's see if they're ready for you today. They weren't ready last night. They weren't ready for all that smoke. So you talk about laydowns. There are so many in this lake and they're all just like perfectly half submerged, half not. Let's crank up the old motor. Let's move around a little bit. Let's see what else we can see out here. Tore this spot apart pretty good. Let's fish some of these dots Down. on our way to the boat ramp. Yep, we found the bank that I want to hit. Got trifecta. Got grass, got overhanging trees, got laydowns. Whoo, it feels good right here. It's like 10 degrees warmer as soon as you get out of the wind. Oh yes, there we go. Morale just went up a couple notches. Boat morale is an important thing to keep an eye on. The frog bite's still good on Gunnersville. It normally always is. Got our first little grass mat coming up here, and it's it's exciting. You can see all the grass down there. Like it's it's real it's real short grass, but it's that green, good grass. Oh, our special guest. One of our special guests is about to join us on the old boat and hopefully teach us a thing or two about uh, Lake Guntersville. 
because clearly we need a lesson. Missed me. Yep. Had a little blow up in the grass mat. First bite on the frog. I think all we needed was a, a little text message from our friend and it just brings the good luck. Oh, she got hit again. He's got me. Come here, buddy. First frog fish on Gunnersville, baby. That's probably the little guy who hit me last time. Oh, mouth full of frog though. Look how he ate it. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, those little isolated grass mats, I mean, there's not much guessing. I mean, you see one, especially out by itself, you see one of those isolated mats like that, and you got a frog tied on, man. I don't know about other lakes, but in Gunnersville, I kind of know that that's, that's the deal. Boom, fish number one, day number two. We haven't even picked up our special guest yet, a man who has an infinite amount of knowledge on this lake. And has multiple YouTube videos to prove it. But I think on that note, now that we've caught that fish, I think I just got a text message from him saying that he was at the boat ramp ready to be picked up. Are you ready for this? I don't know, dude. I don't know if the people at home are ready for this collab either. Let's go get him. Well, let's take some bets right now. What does he have rigged up? What did he grab? Probably spinnerbait because he said something about it. Spinnerbait. And maybe like a freaking just a Texas rig. He's going to have a Texas rig for sure. What's going on, man? Hey. How you doing? Yeah, how you doing, man? Nice to meet you, Lojo. Doing good. Good nice to see you. you. Yeah, you know, actually, we were just in this cove back there. There's some. There was a few isolated grass mats, and we were kind of frog fishing. I just caught one on a frog right before you texted me. Yeah. That you were here. Grass is where it's at, but it mainly back in the coves, like back yeah. in the coves is uh -huh. spawning areas. They're still hanging around the water okay. like that. Okay. Oh, really? So they're real skinny. Real skinny. Oh water. man. I mean, some okay. of them will be on dirt on the bank almost. Yeah. They'll hang around. We haven't had any warm weather. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, it's been cool up here. Yeah. So there's no reason for them to go deep right now. They'll, sure. They'll be up there real shallow. Yeah. Well, that one just was. Yeah. How you doing? I mean, Good. you'll be nice kicking up mud with your trolling motor. <laughs> yeah, we were back there, so we must have yeah. been in the right place. But yeah, what second do you think? Light, like these secondary points. Yeah, yeah. To the back end of the coves. Yeah. Uh, so we, even I, around boat houses, it's yeah. a good thing. Long as, but they're going to be shallow. Yeah. And they're going to be kind of scattered. Uh, what you got tied on over there, Richard? Got, I got a spinner a, bait? Yeah. yeah. We, knew that. Oh. we were taking bets on what you'd have tied on. Yeah. Well, I didn't bring much. I done it real quick. Yeah. I, yeah. I knew it was going to be that kind of a day. I'm excited to see all this grass back here. You said they're up pretty skinny, right, Richard? They're up skinny. Oh, we're, we're getting skinny. We're at about two and a half right now. Pure grass. That's exactly how I like it. Yeah, they ain't no secret places. These fish, are, this lake's so big. It is. You just have to cover water. Right. And get after it. This lake is really pressured, as y'all know. Oh, gosh. There's so One of the so most pressured lakes in the United States, probably. Oh, I just got hit. Yeah. That was a tiny little fish, though. He did not commit. That's not who we're after. I am absolutely shocked I haven't been hit on this buzz bait yet over all this grass. I'm a big buzz bait guy, Gene. I don't know if you are, but. I love buzz bait. Oh yeah. It's kind of an old school lure, you know? Like the, the newer generation doesn't really like to use it, but I swear by it, man. Oh yeah, there's no doubt about it. And, and the good thing about a buzz bait is usually, especially this time of the year, if you catch one, it's gonna be a big one. That's what, exactly right, yeah. That's why I always used to throw them because I never caught small fish on them. There's one. All right. Another one for Richard. Man, he is. He is schooling us already, Andrew. No, no. <laughs> I just hit him in the head. I mean, the blade didn't even turn. I just wow. that fish hit it on the fall. All right. Well, let's, let's ease on back where we started earlier. You're right. There we go. There's that grass. We're running this fish eventually we will catch a boat. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely understanding with this lake you got to find that grass. You got to find it and be near it. That, that's a fact. That's a fact. And 
we're getting there now. We're getting back into it again. All right, Mr. Buzz, I'm not done with you yet. Oop. Man, I just got crushed. Did you get hit? Woo, yes I did. Oh no, chatterbait. Chatterbait, but same thing as what's happening to you. Didn't really eat me that good. Didn't, didn't take it. Just kind of thumped it. Bumped it and hard. Yeah, Boom. <laughs> Now that's how it goes. It's just part of this game right here. Me and Andrew have a theory about making videos and you know just making catching fish. You gotta fight through that adversity first. You gotta embrace the fact that it's gonna be hard. Right. And once you work your way through all that, then the good things start to happen. That's right. Kind of our our mentality when we're filming and when we're when things aren't going our way. We just always take that as a good sign. It's like, well, that means there's good stuff coming, you know? Uh, that's right. The bad stuff is happening now. Yeah, it don't always work, but you know, keeps you sane. All right. I'm gonna try to run us back to where we, kind of where we started near the boat ramp. This looks good. Oh yeah, a lot of shallow grass. Oh yeah, this looks great. This looks great. I might throw that weightless sink a little bit. Yeah. Just just in case, like you said, if they're moving a little slow this morning. Dude, that don't, was so impressive. Don't mind me. <laughs> I have no idea what just happened. I'll be shocked if we don't get bit on a weightless worm or a wacky rig or something right up in here. I'd be I'd be shocked. There we go. Oh, that's a good one, Richard. You want the net? Oh man, that's a good fish. Whoa. Yep, definitely is skinny. Thank you, sir. Yo, you're welcome. Look at there, look at there. Just got out of my mouth. I was like, I'd be shocked if we don't get a bite in here. Yeah, this is a perfect little spawn flat right here. This yeah. is what you're looking for. And yep, we may have to slow down. Yeah, I think I think you're right. I count this yeah. cold front and yeah. really pick this stuff apart. That's a that's a good fish, man. Good fish. Wow. That's wow, awesome. wow, wow, wow. Okay. Fishing is a sport well it's second to none. Yeah. Uh, okay <laughs> it's second but, to yeah, none exactly tail. It's bloody. yeah she's definitely spawned out pretty skinny hey that's one of one of many it, am i correct has he caught three and we've caught nothing yeah <laughs> man i love it that's okay though we're throwing the right stuff now I, i've switched to a weightless lunker log he i think he was throwing a wacky rig so that that's exciting we got the calm little cove right here so what was that wacky rig trick worm no, or it's just a texas rig trick worm okay Oh yeah, okay. Well, it works. I love fishing this way around, especially around vegetation like this. I love fishing that slow weightless stuff. It just seems like it's a, it just makes it impossible for them to say no. Get him, Richard. <laughs> Putting on a clinic in the back of the boat. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, he ain't no big. He ain't no good. All right, well, at least I caught one in front of Richard. That's good. I got to show him I can catch fish too. <laughs> I mean, mine's a little baby. Don't let him see it. Don't let him see mine. <laughs> Oh, well, I got one. Go. Come here. That's a, that's a better one right there. Come on now. Yeah. Man, it feels good. Go. To, feels good to make an adjustment and to be right, doesn't it? Yeah. Man, it feels good. As soon as we slowed down, as soon as we started 
right. fishing the weightless worms, taking our time, kind of getting off the trolling motor a little bit. As soon as we made that decision, we have caught ow, like four or five fish since then. Right. Look how dark that fish is. That's a dark fish. She's been up in here. Yeah. Oh, wow. Living in that shallow brush. That's how the fish way down south in Florida look because they just live in mud, you know? Yeah. Look at that. All right. We're getting on. We got to get Andrew. Got to get y'all on the board, man. Right, dude. Desperately. Uh, you got to get a fish. Man needs to catch a fish. Absolutely. Got to show him some love. I think so, too. That <laughs> cameraman stuffs a lot harder than what y'all think, folks. T keep talking. <laughs> oh, you're, you're wanting yeah, to raise. Keep, yeah, keep talking. <laughs> Come here. Come here. <laughs> we got him figured now. Yeah. We got him figured. His fish are so warm, every single one of them. Black worm. <laughs> That's the Richard Jean special. I think you are right. Oh, he's pooping, so I'm going to go ahead and let him go. Yeah. We don't need that kind of negativity on this boat. I was just about to say, I think we fished this area out, but maybe not. I don't know. All right, we feel pretty good about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's nope. What's Is the motor hanging? going clear? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're good. Woohoo! All right. Now we're fishing Guntersville now. We're going to some of that secret water now. See, so nobody knows about this. Oh, this is great. Oh, yeah. I thought it was going to be really Y'all shallow. Oh, yeah. Around, back Oh, around my those. goodness. I keep getting chewed on, but I'm guessing they're brim. Yeah. Just kind of knocking and then... They're brim, but they knock the crap out of them. They do. You know, brim... Yeah, brim got no problem. The there we go. There we go. I mean, I thought it was a... I thought it was a good one too. When I set the hook, I thought it was a good one. Well, they're all good. That front really messed these fish up a little yeah. bit. Yeah. We always we always have the best timing when it comes to like fronts front. or bad weather. We always have that timing, but hey, a fish is a fish is a fish, That's man. Right. Let's go. Well, folks, we are officially out of time with my main man, Richard Gene, the fishing machine. Let me just say, man, thank you for joining me. I really appreciate you. I've been a fan of your channel for a long time. Same here. I, I like I, everything y'all do is, is appreciated. I like what y'all are doing. I like y'all's format. You're you're really doing a great job out here. Well, thank you, really man. Are. We've really enjoyed it. Gunnersville is a beautiful lake. I mean, we're definitely going to be coming back here soon. But uh, we've run out of time with Richard. But guys, make sure you go check out his channel. I'll link it down below and uh you'll see us fishing on your channel here really soon too so yeah go check him out thank you again my friend please shake your hand it's good seeing you brother you too brother our journey continues well all right folks the first 18 hours on gunnersville have been an absolute blast we've gone fishing by ourselves went fishing with somebody who i have a ton of respect for Richard Gene, the fishing machine, and you guys have been asking for that collaboration for a long time. I've been wanting it to happen. And actually I posted on YouTube and one of you guys ended up linking us up. So big shout out to whoever that was and all the people trying to link up me and Richard Gene. Had a ton of fun. He got to kind of break down the lake to us a little bit. More importantly, the fact that we got to meet him, shake his hand and catch fish with him, that was so freaking cool. Now there are other vehicles starting to pull up at the place. I'm sure you guys are noticing that. Got a new vehicle right there and there's gonna be another new vehicle right there. Because as we told you guys at the intro of this video, there are people coming here to do filming, to cook, to do, I don't, I don't even know what we're gonna do. Guys, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you're smashing the thumbs up button. Stay tuned for part two, which is gonna be probably just a couple days. So hang out, enjoy it, it's coming. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love each and every single one of you. And I'm gonna keep bringing you guys on these journeys because they are just so much dang fun. Catch you guys later, peace.